word to describe Jonathan Gold is dedicated. Uh, at the start of his uh, PGA professional career, uh, he was dedicated to uh, Rick Meskel and the members at Meadowbrook Club, where he was mentored by uh, another Bill Strasbaugh Award recipient. Um, and then from there, um, he's been dedicated to PGA professionals in our section and helping us grow PGA Junior League um, in initiating and elevating that PGA hope. And now, uh, as a career consultant, uh, in every day, uh, helping to elevate uh, the careers and, and the employment of PGA professionals, not only here in the Met section, but also in uh, New Jersey and Philadelphia sections as well. Passion. He's had a passion to elevate his fellow PGA professional all his career, not only as a PGA professional himself, but as a player development manager and today in his role as an employment consultant for the PGA of America. The one word I would use to describe Jonathan Gold is relentless. He is relentless in his pursuit of support of the PGA member. He is relentless in his efforts to advance compensation for PGA members. And ultimately, he is relentless in his support for the Met PGA as a whole and all of the ideals and initiatives that that, that storage section stands for. Thoughtful. He made a very positive impact on all of the individuals he worked with and was so well thought of by the membership, his peers, and the extended team. The manner in which he conducted himself made him very easy to like and to be around. He had an innate ability to consider different approaches to handle an environment with people who had different motivations. He was smart, very well organized, and genuine in his activities. When Jonathan launched PGA Junior League here in the Met section, we started with four teams. Today we have over 150 teams in the Met section that just continue to highlight the impact the PGA professional can have at their area golf clubs and that's a testament to Jonathan's dedication from day one. Back in 2015, Jonathan was an integral part of launching PGA Hope here in the Met section. He laid the groundwork both for the curriculum and the structure of the program that's led to its continued success today. I think for Jonathan and myself, probably the best memory we'll have of our careers is that first graduating class of PGA Hope at seeing it all come to fruition and seeing the impact that we had on the veterans through the simple game of golf. The description of the Bill Strasbaugh Award talks about day-to-day uh, -day mentorship of fellow PGA professionals, uh, helping them improve uh, their current employment uh, situations and in service to the community. Um, and clearly Jonathan does all those things every day. Um, and it's not so much uh, that he does it, but it's the way that he does it. Uh, it's that, that care that he has for every individual, uh, for working tirelessly to cultivate new opportunities uh, and, and certainly to, to distribute that information, spread the word and, and, and even identify individuals that he knows may be looking or that he thinks he can help. And um, There's just so much care for all the individuals, uh, as I said, for cultivating new opportunities uh, and, and of course then also for helping uh, individuals with their current situation, be it a new contract or uh, trying to uh, increase their responsibilities, etc. Um, it's just, it's a day-to-day -day passion for him. And, uh, it's wonderful to watch. The focus on mentorship and community and charitable involvement are the main criteria of this award, and Jonathan has consistently checked all the boxes. His journey started back in 2008 at the Meadowbrook Club, taking the lead with the junior fundraiser exhibition match benefiting Met PGA Junior Golf. The fundraiser for junior golf continues annually. Jonathan is well deserving of the Bill Strasball Award. Uh, the qualities of coach truly are emblematic in Jonathan's life and day-to-day and -day duties. His efforts this year in really diving into something that was out of bounds of the, of the career services team and in navigating the government loans and, and taking upon himself to, to lead that effort of, on our team and, uh, and ultimately help members um, do what he, he tries to do most, which is put more money in, in members' pockets. And I'm extremely proud of Jonathan and the work he does every day. And I know that uh, I'd be proud as a, if I was a member of the Met PGA to have Jonathan Gold representing me. And I know that uh, Marissa and Reese are, uh, are proud to have him as, uh, as the, the leader of their family. And uh, congratulations, Jonathan, well-deserved. Jonathan's transition to his role uh, as career consultant here in the Met section also coincided with Charlie Robson's retirement after a decorated career of great success in employment and club relations here in the area. Uh, and what's been so impressive has been Jonathan's ability to 
enhance what this section had done so well for so long, uh, while also identifying uh, areas that we can improve. Um, you know, I'm so thankful for everything that he's done. I congratulate him uh, on this honor, uh, and I look forward. I'm glad he's on the team, uh, and I look forward to, to working together with him for many years to come. You will surely see Jonathan front and center, very much giving back to the community with all of our sections programs. His efforts in all of these areas over a long period of time are a real testament to his willingness to be involved as an active contributor. His knowledge is abundant and his ability to share with the section members creates a real value for all of us in the section. Jonathan, thank you for all you have done and continue to do on behalf of the members and staff of the Met section. Well done, my friend. So first and foremost, thank you very much. Uh, I, I humbly accept the 2020 Bill Strasbaugh Award on behalf of the Metropolitan PGA section. Uh, it's just surely a surreal experience um, and, and one that, that needs a lot of thanks because surely it, it takes a village. Uh, from my very first PGA professionals, Bobby Basilico and Pat Morris, at town of Oyster Bay Golf Course from when I was 15 years old uh, up until Rick Meskel, who I consider a father figure in my life. Uh, just a tremendous professional, tremendous man. And obviously Charlie Robson, who has been a mentor for myself in this section from day one. Uh, my family, my wife Marissa, uh, who's been a fantastic uh, wife, mother, and just someone in my life that continues to push me to become uh, the best version of me. So I, I obviously owe her a great deal of thanks. Uh, to my PGA of America family, uh, Scott Kimmick, who's the Senior Director of Career Services. Uh, special thanks go out to Scott for for letting me do what I feel right, is right um, and making relationships with PGA professionals and employers and how it works in, in the Metropolitan PGA and also the District 2. Uh, also oh, thanks to uh, my teammates as well um, and then frankly the, the PGA professionals in the section. Uh, I learn from you every single day and it is just a blessing and an honor to learn from the very best in the world. And if I can just give back a little bit of the things that I learned from you to other professionals, uh, ultimately we're all gonna be in a better place. So uh, thank you for being the best in the world at what you are and what you do day in and day out. Uh, surely uh, it's amazing. So again, it takes a village. I consider myself extremely lucky uh, to be here uh, with everyone and the section staff as well. We have a tremendous section staff that's all supporting one another. And some initiatives that have come out of the way in the past couple of years that have grown leaps and bounds. I remember the day when PJ Junior League Golf started and we had four teams. And now look where it is now, just because of section involvement and needed PJ professionals. Um, and PJ Hope and Kelly Clayton and, and Kevin Sabay and all the wonderful things that the section has rallied around to make other lives better. And that's truly what it's about. Um, I had the privilege to listen to, to Bill Strasbaugh speak a little bit about this award and, and truly it's just an, it's an effort award uh, and it takes everyone. So uh, I humbly accept this award, but, but please, this is, this is everybody um, in our village and family together. Um, so it's truly special and, uh, and thank you.